Mixtapes and DVDs is my era Facts. We did it better yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers Facts. ACG Boots uh. We 80s babies Ooh. In early 90s When it got grimy I was out of this world You could not find me Unless you check the lobby Hustling was my hobby We was lobby boys yep. Before Jim Jones You could catch me at Harlem Eating Jim Bones DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Let's get straight into this one. Now, Raekwon is a rapper from one of the biggest rap groups to hit the hip-hop scene in the 90s. And even though it's been nearly 30 years since Ray and the War appeared on the scene, many believe they still relevant to this day. Now, in Raekwon's book, From the Staircase to the Stage, he explained the struggles he faced at a young age, moving from the trouble streets of Brooklyn to Staten Island. Now, without a father being around, Raekwon turned to the streets, and just like many other people in his position, he almost became a victim of his circumstances. Now, before Raekwon and the Wu could put out their classic album for 36 Chambers and the chef could drop his classic verse on Cream before Raekwon can drop his classic album only built for Cuban links and put out singles for Ice Cream and Heaven or Hell, Raekwon will find himself in some trouble that he might not made it out of. Now even though the time period isn't so clear and Ray younger years he'll be shot in both legs, now supposedly Raekwon will be at the wrong place at the wrong time when the shootout was about to take place. Now according to the chef he says when things was about to go down he decided to stick around and watch from a nearby building lobby. Now one of the guys who were being shot at decided to run in that building lobby where Ray was and Raekwon will be shot in both of his legs by mistake. Now in order for Raekwon to get out of the way of the bullets he had to crawl his way out of this situation it was so many shots coming through like the only thing i could really do was try to hit the floor and kind of crawl out of that area now ray even goes on to say both bullets hit him right under his knees and it could have been possible to damage his walking ability and it also took him a long time to heal from his injuries it could have really damage your boy like walking walking perspective right now to the fullest now according to ray Kwan, he says he's grateful for being shot because it gave him time to sit down and basically make him see things in a much more positive outlook in life so even though this was a negative situation he found a way to turn it into something positive now not to mention the guy who shot ray Kwan by accident called him and apologized to ray and he also became an in-law of ray Kwan later down the line but anyway, tell me what y'all think. Jump in that comment section. And if you're a fan of these old hip-hop stories, tell a friend to tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More content coming, and I'm out. One. <laughs>